it's time for everybody to access their species level mind but it's done in a different way than you might think we need to go to five dimensional thinking and so one model that uh, we've been using is called the five communication spaces model this map is the five communication spaces and so what we have here <clears throat> is the personal space the one-on-one -on -one space the group space, the community space, and the sacred space. And so this map is a five-dimensional map. You can think of these in terms of dimensions, that there's your dimension, your world, everything inside of you with your boundary. And then there's the one-on-one -on -one dimension with you and someone else. It could be anybody, but it's you breaking from your personal space into one-on-one -on -one space, but you can still be in your personal space if you're with in a one-on-one -on -one space. How much do you open your field? How much do you begin to let the other in to see you and for you to see them? Over here, the group space. Now we bring in a third person. Now we bring in the idea of groups. <clears throat> there are so many different groups. So many different boundaries, so many different borders, so many different ways of thinking, so many different ways of humans coming together. In the group, you have distinction. In the community, you have almost revelation, but it's, it's like that's where everyone comes out together. That's where everyone meets. That's where all the groups meet. That's where all the families meet. That's where all the churches meet. That's where all the organizations meet. So community space has to be beyond that. It has to be open to who is in the community. Now, sacred space is acknowledging the sacred, not coming in with any worldview, but showing how it's a bit different than all the other spaces because you have to have some sort of spiritual connection within there, with intention through your mind. And so if that is brought into this fifth dimensional map, we are now opening to allowing different worldviews to share the planet together such that we don't have to go to war. We can respect each other's viewpoint, but perhaps even meet in the sacred space. And if we put something like love in the sacred space, because now we're adding the ability to program these spaces with values, that's the huge breakthrough. That's the, um, that's the shivers up the spine. That's the, holy cow, I'm searching for the holy grail, and here it is. It's like the ability to program values into spaces to, with your intention, the ability to bring in cooperation, the ability to bring in courage, the ability to bring in um, mercy or, or uh, love or peace or passion, but to put it in a pattern. You put it in a pattern of these five spaces and it becomes the beginning of you programming values and your intention into universal spaces. So if you have privacy in the personal space and you have uh, love in the one-on-one -on -one space and you have fun in the group space and you have justice in the community space and you have, let's say surrender, in the sacred space that creates a value system that creates the beginning of you living by a code of honor that you have decided upon but it interacts with all other humans in a way that makes sense we all have these spaces no matter where we're coming from no matter who we are how do we meet in the community space perhaps we have a shared value of cooperation Perhaps we have a shared value of love. Perhaps we have a shared value of wealth. Now, that's where I interact in the community. But when I'm over here by myself, I may have different values. I may value growth. I may value life. I may value um, anything that defines you anything that is yours for you, just you. And, and this is the building of our character. 
This is the building of our spiritual self and connecting to higher levels of consciousness through conscious choice. This is the huge piece here, conscious choice. We're choosing to design our future together. And the maps are the reference points for the mind and the physical side to connect and see how we want to build our ideal to be and then move into that ideal through the experience of it. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. 